red, white, and royal blue? God bless America. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I was not planning on watching this movie for my channel, but I have a friend who really loves to read and she had read the book for this. So she was like, oh my god, they're making a movie about it. And she was like really excited and she would tell me like all about it. Not gonna lie, the premise alone was giving Wattpad. <laughs> I watched the trailer and I was like, huh, this looks like it could be bad. <laughs> but when it came out, a lot of people were raving about it. I have been reading a lot of good reviews about it. I've seen a lot of gifs of the two main characters kissing and there are there are a lot of them and i saw this one tweet on twitter i'll post a screenshot just from like the pictures that they chose i thought they wrote something like super sweet about like looks of longing or whatever but then when you hit translate it translates to something so raunchy <laughs> really convinced me that i should watch this on my channel it made me think is it gonna be like the far end of the spectrum like 365 days 50 shades of gray kind of thing or am i just seeing the raunchiest parts like them making out and it's like not even that bad i don't know so that being said, let's make this into a little drinking game. It's been a while since I did that. I'll take a swig every time they do anything physically intimate. So like kissing and beyond. I will not count hand holding or like lingering touches just to like make it easy on myself just in case, you know? But yeah, let's have some fun with it. Without further ado, let's get started on red, white, and royal blue. Thousands came to cheer the couple and to cheer the prince's younger brother, Prince Henry. No effect. Hmm. Prince, prince Henry? A little close to a real prince we know. Alex Claremont Diaz, the charismatic son of the American president. Mr. Claremont Diaz is often referred to as the American Prince Henry. He spent his entire life attending fancy events like this. He was trained for this. Oh, he feels like a fish out of water? I feel like if I use the wrong fork at dinner, they're just gonna eat me alive. I mean, if you're the son of, like, the president, wouldn't you go through media training? And like go through etiquette training and all that? The cake alone costs 75,000 pounds. Prince Henry is so yummy. I was gonna go for a rich white boy. That is a rich white boy I go for. But he's the worst <laughs> kind of rich white boy. And it's old money. And royalty. Can't ignore the the centuries of uh, colonialism. How's it going? Not even a hello? Oh, right. Classic enemies to lovers. Of course it had to be England versus the US. Also, the actor who plays the British prince. <laughs> the last thing I saw him in was Purple Hearts, which was such a vastly different character from this movie. So, um... I'm very interested on in seeing how he performs. I've heard a lot of good things about his performance in this movie, so looking forward to it. Henry! Oh, he is sloshed. Tell me something, your majesty. <gasps> Bro, he was saying how he was so scared people would judge him. Look at how he's acting right now. You know what? Sorry. <laughs> this is such a trope. Oh, oh. oh my god, not the 75,000 pound cake. Oh my god, this is so... <laughs> This is so cheesy. And later on, they're gonna, they're each gonna have a different kind of cake with each other, if you know what I mean. Jasmine's new generation. Okay, as soon as you put this song into the movie, it really sets the mood on how the movie's gonna play out. It's not gonna be a serious movie. <laughs> Oh yeah, I totally forgot Uma Thurman is in this movie. I didn't know that. And then I watched the trailer and I was like, Uma Thurman? Henry shoved me. An urge I currently share with the prince. <laughs> okay, Madam President. I salute to Uma Thurman. The White House and the palace are gonna release a joint statement that you and Prince Henry are in fact close personal friends and have been for the last several years. Sora. This is a fact. Ooh, the PR team, a one woman job. Does he get faction on me? Yes, making it was one of the most pressing moments of my career. And I once saw Mitch McConnell eating a banana. <laughs> Honestly, it must be exhausting to be a child of a high political figure. It's not even like your fault that you got born into this family and then you're suddenly thrust into the spotlight and then you're scrutinized by like everyone for like no reason at all. John Shavastava, Prince Henry's Aquari. Here comes his royal highness now. You've gotta be joking. <laughs> the zoom in. Should we do this? 
Yes, sir. Wow, he is not dressed for this occasion. You've been mates since you met at the Melbourne Climate Conference several years back. Alex has very strong opinions, and, and he shares them <laughs> loudly. What three words would I use to describe Henry? White, blonde, British. <laughs> One thing I most admire about Alex is his willingness to admit when he's wrong. Wonderful, wonderful trait. This is fun. They're back and forth. This is so cheesy, but it's kind of working. It kind of does seem like they're having genuinely friendly banter. How on earth did you end up on the floor in Buckingham Palace? Covered in cake. In the reign of Queen Victoria, they were having food fights all the time. Vicky. <laughs> he did not just hit the wall <laughs> while saying Vicky. Vicky. <laughs> That was so cringy. Please. You visit this place a lot? Every couple months. Never wish photographers though. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Closet together. Why'd you dislike me? Is this when they get to know each other? Okay. Climate conference in Melbourne. First night party. I went to introduce myself to you and you looked at me like I had head lice. Then you turned to your equerry and said, get me out of here. <gasps> it's because... <laughs> He wants him. He wants him so bad. It was my first foray into the world as a public figure, and I was really scared, and you could have helped me, and you didn't. Ooh, a little heart to heart, being vulnerable with each other. That's a gateway. That's a gateway. My brother died a few months before, and the palace insisted on parading me around. Okay, opening up. Okay, so he's a prince that has a heart of gold. You're expected at my New Year's party. No, I hate you. Most people would kill to get invited to my party. That's perfect. You kill me, and I won't have to go. I really like their banter so far. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, I need to get out. Ooh. Do you see the look down? Did you see the look down? He wants him so bad. He oh. wants him so bad. <laughs> see, that's why I don't count the hand holding. Shaking hands and stuff, even though it was a little, I did feel a little bit. It's not enough. Hey, Miguel. What's up? ACD. Still having it in shop. <laughs> Hey, you mind if I put my journalist hat on for a sec? Oh, okay. He's trying to gather information. Only if they actually have those journalist hats like they do in the old movies. I promise I'll wear it for you sometime. <laughs> I don't intend to. Are these two flirting right now? Deberíamos de vernos pronto. Ya hace mucho, no? Oh, did they used to be a thing? Well, I did get that vibe. Es lo que te hace tan encantador. Eso y las pestañas. I understand him, though. The actor who plays Alex, like, when he was in the kissing booth, I was like, who is that? Who is that? He is so good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Not the bitmoji. Okay, they're gonna have a little text exchange. Next thing you know, they're about to FaceTime each other every night. <gasps> that got me. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> this is flirting. This is flirting. The text about to be like, but I'll gobble you up <laughs> like a turkey. You're more of a human than I thought. Have I surprised you in any way? Ooh, he wants to know his opinions about him. I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Fine. Have it your way. Good night. Damn, I thought they would just go to sleep on call with each other. That would be so cute. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. I wrote a 14 page memo detailing how we can win in Texas next year. I spent weeks working on it. I think it's a viable plan that you should take seriously. I really want to help. You do help. But I could be doing so much more. Oh, he wants more of a role. Okay, stepping it up. Okay, okay, white girl dance. Miss Holloran, you are the most exquisite woman I've ever seen in my life. I would love to procure for you the most lavish drink in this establishment. Does he have a wig on? His hairline is like really low. That is a that's a three head. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, you left your guest alone by himself. You don't dance? Ballroom yeah, lessons didn't exactly him. cover this. Oh, he's about to teach him how to dance? All in the hips. On the hips. <laughs> Did that count? Oh, oh shit, you, you have to dance to this. Get low, get low, get low. To the window, to the wall. The sweat got down my balls. Did he say till the sweat drops down my balls? I find it unbelievable that he has never heard this song before. Come on, did you live? Do you live under a rock? Well, these two just don't understand the point of the song. You're supposed to get low. That was kind of cute though. Across the dance floor kind of moment. Eight, seven, Who are they kissing for the New Year's kiss? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 wow. Oh my god! He looks so tormented. Wait, he looks devastated. What are you doing out here? 
Oh, he needs to cool off. Is this where the first kiss is gonna be? Do you ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? Who would you be? Be a writer, live in Paris. Okay. <laughs> He sounds like a Wes Anderson character. People I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. He's trying to come out to you. Yeah. Bottoms up. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, that looks CGI as fuck. <laughs> I just wish some of my colleagues in this race. Oh, he's ignoring him. I don't know, man. Alex was reciprocating that kiss. He grabbed my hair in a way that made me understand the difference between rugby and football. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I really like the script so far. It's corny, but like not in a cringy way. You've been long distance text flirting with him all day, every day for months. You oh. spent the entire New Year's party straight up ignoring the who's who of hot young women in order to talk to Henry. <laughs> Was he ignoring them? He danced with them and kissed like two girls. I can wrap my head around being low level into guys, but what I'm really confused about is being into Henry. Why? Wait, what's confusing about Henry specifically? Is it because you thought you hated him? Mm, but the hate to love is so... Alex, nice talk, es que guapo. <gasps> the campaign putting mm. your memo into action, because it should. He's distracted. Ooh, is Miguel gonna be a an enemy? He's about to out Alex, actually. If, or he's gonna out Henry. Him being into Alex and him being a journalist at the same time, it's not, mm, We already know. He is. He is gonna do something shady. I'm horny. <sighs> I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop talking. <gasps> Can we do it a second time? It was like in the same scene. Uh, whatever. Fellas, time's up. We gotta get back to- Oh, God. <laughs> Your royal hardness. <laughs> Wait, did they fuck or were they- Or did they just- No, they- They couldn't have. They couldn't have. Henry and I are much happier against walls. Does that count? You know, I'm gonna count it. Well, hopefully we'll get through tonight without any more scandals from these two. The night is young, Ma. <laughs> That's such a son answer. <laughs> to annoy your parent? <laughs> That's so funny. You're gonna stay at least 500 feet away from me for the rest of the night. Since I'm not done. Of course. Then at midnight, you're gonna come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm going to do some very bad things to you. <laughs> oh, okay. We love a man with a plan. <laughs> you're late. I'm blushing. Oh my god, I'm blushing. <sighs> oh my god, not the Washington building <laughs> as the next scene, please. What's that? The key to my family's house in Austin. I started wearing it when we moved here. You know, I don't think I've ever owned a key in my entire life. Huh? Don't you drive? Car key. I guess you could say I'm bisexual. I am as gay as a maple. What the fuck is a maple? <laughs> is that a British thing? I have no idea what a maple okay, is. Okay, same. Okay, okay, okay. I wouldn't mind doing this again. <laughs> okay. Me neither. <laughs> we just have to keep it very casual, of course. Oh, casual. Oh, no. <laughs> He's so sad about it. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a line. Highness, I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. I can't tell if I'm blushing or if it's alcohol or both. There's this charity polo match in Windsor next month. I was wondering if you might want to be my guest. Oh. Um. I don't know how to play polo. He can learn. You'll be watching on the sidelines. <laughs> oh, he wants him there to watch him play polo. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. We're, we're, were both of them satisfied? I don't know, it looks like it! Ah! <laughs> Ooh, okay, the bagpipes. <laughs> They're like rabbits! Okay, so I think this is like a good medium ground. It's definitely not like 365 days, 50 shades of grey. But it's not, it's not tame. It's a little... <laughs> A little steamy. 
Do you have a last name? Actually, I have several. The official family name is Hannibal Stewart. No, the way that the actor who plays Henry legitimately has like royal blood in him. I looked it up. He has like ties to a pretty high up family in Russia? Does anyone in your family know about you? My sister B is the only one I've told. My brother Philip is completely oblivious. And what about his majesty? He sat me down on my 18th birthday and told me not to let any selfish desires I might be harboring reflect poorly on the crown. I was four years old when I realized that everyone in my country knew my name, but I would never know theirs. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it must be so, so hard to, like, not really be your own person without other people looking at you. I don't know how some people can be, like, in the spotlight and, like, genuinely enjoy it because, like, who wants to be criticized and scrutinized like all the time that's really rich of me saying that as i have a platform on youtube but it's it's nothing like actual celebrities people who are like actually royal like they were born into this role they legitimately had no choice in the matter i think we should make love tonight Ooh, make love make love what happened to being casual making love is not casual who says make love anymore we're gonna like listen to Lana Del Rey when we do it. All right, all right. <laughs> That's funny. Who's gonna do what? Oh, they haven't like done it yet. Oh, the little kiss of reassurance. How cute! The buttons are quite sturdy. Mm. Rigid. I can't stop smiling. Oh my god, they're so cute. Does this count? Is this the same vein as holding hands? Well, they are about to have sex, so. Oh, well, another kiss. Wow, this is so female gaze. Fe gaze as in G-A-Z-E, not gays as in lesbians. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh wow! I'm intruding. Oh my god, I feel like I'm intruding right now. I can't believe how well it was about you. Most people are. <laughs> Wait, this is so this is so intimate. I know I said no hand holding, but that was that was so that was so sweet. I'll take another swig. <gasps> oh my god. Um, I'm almost done. Uh <laughs> Oh my god, that whole scene got me so sweaty. I mean, it's also the weather and this bright light on me and the alcohol, but ooh. My father was 12 when my brother brought him and his sister over from Mexico. I've been given a chance to be someone in the world that my father didn't see when he was growing up. Wow, that's like a really good way to look at it. He was thrust into the spotlight because of his mom. But like he's using that opportunity, that platform to do some good. That's really admirable. Did you tell Miguel Ramos that we had a plan to flip Texas? You do have a Texas strategy, you just won't implement it. You're being idealistic when I need you to be realistic. Is that why you- I was 28 when I was elected to the state legislature. Wow, 28? They need me to be realistic so they can be idealistic. You have a lot to learn about politics, kid. Yeah, okay. Politics, it's very complicated. I can see his point of view of like, yeah, like why aren't you doing this, this, and this to like do better? But I kind of I kind of understand where she's coming from because that is really idealistic. You can try to win over people, but it's it's not always gonna work out. I, I feel like it's a little naive of him to expect that to happen, especially in the U.S. I need you some water. I'm sweating so badly. What's all that? My first Texas campaign. Your grandmother saved everything. I read your memo. Good work. We're sending you to Texas. Oh. Real? That was fast. What a change in heart. Dear Henry, the energy here is electric and I think we can make a real difference. The only thing that would make it even better is if you were here. Oh. Should I also tell you that when we're apart, your body comes back to me in my dreams? I can feel your skin against mine and it makes every bone in my body ache. I'm out here giving my all for my mother. I can't have smut filling my inbox. <laughs> I think you'd really like Austin most, especially. Because <laughs> Austin is like the more blue city. I'm reminded of one of my favorite quotes from Sense and Sensibility. It isn't what we say or think that defines us, but what we do. Oh, I feel like I don't agree with that. The way that you think can definitely define you. Hold on. Oh, it's the journalist guy. You know, we're both staying at this hotel tonight. He doesn't want you! Well, the only thing confirming tonight is that you're an asshole. Let us know, Chase Cabron. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, this is a little too public. We need to get up to my room right now. 
See, that's oh my gosh. See, I I called it. I called it. You ever been on Grinder? <laughs> Once unsuccessfully. Oh, really? <laughs> What's the app that like rich people use? Oh, Raya. I I'm surprised you didn't try Raya. Hmm, what's your favorite movie? In the Mood for Love. Oh, <gasps> that's a great movie. Oh, okay, Henry, you got taste. It is only the swooniest movie of all time. Mm, I don't think I would describe that swoony as that movie's sad. Have you ever had your heart broken? The day my dad died. It suddenly got serious. Alex Claremont Diaz, it's almost seven. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Hang on. Is there someone in there? That's it. <gasps> She's gonna go in there? He's naked. Where is she? Zora, no one is here. Uh -oh. He's in the closet, isn't he? Good morning. <laughs> and who knows about this? Literally not with you. Oh, and I told my sister. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was very really happy for us. Oh, I can't. They're so cute. <laughs> Please don't tell my mom. Do you think his parents know? I wouldn't think so, right? You're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. Oh, she's assuming that he's the top. I mean, not gonna lie, Henry does give a little bottom energy, but... And if anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head from your body. You got me? Brexit. The way that that's been a joke ever since that happened. Unbelievable. Yeah, this woman is... She's she's working overtime to handle the PR disaster that he is creating. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, darling. Oh, he's gonna tell her? I hope she's understanding. I've met someone. I mean, why would that be relevant to the campaign? She's not a Republican, is she? <laughs> she's also a he. He happens to be Henry. We're gonna need some pizza. Okay, it doesn't seem like she's against it. So are you are you gay, bi, fluid, pan, quick? Oh. <laughs> what mom and bye. Well, you know the B and LGBTQ is not a silent letter. <gasps> How cute. <laughs> no, I'm tearing up. Stop. I just want to make sure you know you need to wear a condom if you're having anal intercourse. <laughs> oh we could talk about getting you on Truvada. And if you're bottoming, then you need the HPV vaccine. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, at least she's understanding. And she's educated. My parents bought a vacation house after my mother's book was published. I'm headed there to chill over Labor Day weekend with my dad and Nora. My dad suggested that I invite you. <gasps> Do you want to come? Please say yes. Okay. Oh my God. Henry's wearing his hat. <laughs> Wait till he finds out about the karaoke machine. Uh, no, no, I am definitely not doing karaoke. Okay. okay. Please, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm seven at the speed of life. Super Sonic Man out of you. It's the common rom com trope of like, oh, I'm not doing that. And then they do a cut of them doing exactly that. <laughs> So fun. So you like him? What's not to like? Sometimes you just gotta jump. Hope you're not standing on the cliff. Oh. So both of his parents are supportive. Oh, I love that for him. Oh my god, you were such a Gretchen. No, get off. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Was that a moment? Did he kiss his neck? Okay, fuck it, whatever. My mom will hopefully be in office again, and we won't have to worry about winning any more national elections. I'll have a lot more freedom. Until it's my turn to run for office, of course. Oh, he wants to be president? Oh, uh, good luck with that, man. Next summer, we could come back here for like a couple weeks. Jeez. We could be naked, have sex anywhere on the property you want. I'm honestly surprised that there's not more paparazzis like trying to get a picture of this moment. We could walk through Austin holding hands, and it won't even matter if anyone sees us. I can take you around to all the places I grew up. Oh no, the look on his face. It's getting a little too serious. Oh my god, I've seen so many stills of this scene in particular. It's like there's a rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. No way, no way, so no way, no right. way. <laughs> oh no. I'm <laughs> this next shot is kind of goofy, not gonna lie. <laughs> Henry! Oh no, he can't be outright gay with him. He's royal. I mean, it's not like he's first in line. He can pull up, he can pull up Prince Harry and maybe like withdraw from the crown. Maybe that will happen actually. I feel like he's supposed to be based off of Prince Harry anyways. So maybe he'll just like branch off and be with Alex. He left when he was sleeping. That's a coward move. The idea of royalty in the 21st century is so antiquated. 
I agree. Cheer up. At least you'll never be king. <laughs> That's true. Whoa, those triangular bushes are so perfect. The gardener really outdid himself. Oh, he's looking up articles about him. Don't kid yourself. Go to him. He bear his soul to you. Can't wait it out. I'm going crazy here. Go to London. Get your man. So, Mr. Claremont Diaz is at the gate. He insists on seeing. Oh my God. All I know is I'm the one here willing to fight for us. Because it costs you nothing. I wouldn't say it costs him nothing. I mean, it would cost him his mother's campaign for sure. I wasn't raised by a loving, supportive family like you were. My life is the crown and yours is politics. And I will not trade one prison for another. Ooh. Ooh, that, that's a line. I can love you and want you and still not want that life. Okay. Okay, I can sympathize with Henry. Yeah, yeah. I get where he's coming from. Hmm. This is tough. As much as I want to say, like, oh, like, love who you want to love, you know, be, be happy with who you are and everything. But I guess, like, in Henry's position, yeah, I get it would be tough. I mean, at least his sister is very supportive of him. Ugh, I have a feeling if he told his brother, his brother would tell him to hide that part of himself. So if you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. Please. He's not going to tell him to leave. He's not going to tell him to leave. It's the only way you're getting rid of me because I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness that I found with you. Ah! Wait. Don't say. <gasps> something I want you to see. Oh, okay. Look at Henry wearing casual wear this time. Okay, mister, I've never had a key to anything in my life. A museum? When I was a boy, my father used to bring me here. Now I like to come at night. No one else is around to gawk at you and try and take your picture. Oh, yeah, I see what he's trying to say. They have their little alone time. When I was younger, I would dream of taking somebody I loved here. <gasps> we dance right here amidst all these statues. <laughs> He's putting on music, isn't he? It's always this fucking song. Does this count? Does this count? This seems like in the same vein as holding hands. Whatever, I will count it. Cheers! Please be patient with me, and I promise I will try and be brave for us. Why do I have the sinking feeling that he is not gonna be brave and fight for them? I love you. I'll be as patient. As you need. Ooh, I actually don't know how this is gonna end. We can either have Henry not fighting for them and continuing to live a life that isn't true to himself, or you know, true love wins and they end up together. I don't know. I I'm kind of leaning towards the he's not gonna fight for them because I feel like that would be a perfect leeway to a sequel. But yeah, mm, who knows? What's going on? <gasps> Did something get leaked? It was that journalist, wasn't it? Your emails to Alex have been hacked. <gasps> See, I, I fucking called it. I've taken the liberty of confiscating your phone as a precaution. You've done what? Orders from the palace, sir. No, I oh, did the orders fuck. in this palace. Was it his granddad? Now we have Miguel Ramos of Politico, who was the first American... Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. These emails clearly show a pattern of obfuscation around this relationship, and it's my job to examine and contextualize them. That's a load of bullshit, okay. The truth is, every queer person has the right to come out on their own terms and on their own timeline. They yes. also have the right to choose not to come out at all. Yes. This is about privacy and the fundamental right of self-determination, which are exactly the principles on which the struggle for queer liberation has always been fought. Oh, okay, yeah. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. <laughs> in love. I love his royal highness. <laughs> Prince Henry George, Edward James. Oh, his full name too. Stop. Oh, I have a feeling Henry is not going to respond the same way. Relationship? We do not have a relationship. It was like a fling or something. I don't know. I'm having a little less faith in Henry. Sean Trevastava, this is our Bankston. I'm not going to get any work done until you put these two lovesick homosexuals on the <laughs> Lovesick homosexuals. I want you to march your skinny, perfect ass over to the prince, hand him your phone, or so help me God, you will never see me naked again <gasps> oh okay hello baby <gasps> baby <laughs> i'm coming to london tonight just hold on until i get there i'll break the sound barrier for you <laughs> break the sound barrier for you 
It feels like everyone hates me. Hey, they still love you. They love the idea of me. In real life, I feel like a lot of like young people don't really care about the royal family anymore. It's mostly the older generation that cares about the royal family. So I feel like if a member of the royal family in England were to come out as gay, uh, I don't know, actually. I will take it back because I feel like there would be a lot of backlash towards that person. But I also feel like the younger generation would would be very supportive. It depends on which audience you're listening to. The less you say, the better it'll be for you. <gasps> Ooh. Is that supposed to be the king? Have you read our emails, Philip? God, no. Well, if you had, you'd realize that this is more than just a mad infatuation. It would suck so much if they broke up. <laughs> like, they go through all this and then they break up. I have read your emails. They leave no doubt that your love is genuine. Occasionally vulgar, but <laughs> the nation simply will not accept a prince who is homosexual. Homosexual. <laughs> yes, tell me, what is it? Is it the public opinion? <gasps> People are supporting them, aren't they? Oh my god, Henry, look at this. They're waving the rainbow flag, aren't they? I knew it! Yes! Starting today, the world will know me for who I am. Yes! Grandpa, tell them that they can't go out there. Henry. Yeah, fuck you, Philip. I love you. <laughs> I love you more. Uh -huh. <laughs> Celebratory drink, let's finish it. The entire race now hangs on Texas. It's possible we are just minutes away from knowing who the next president of the United States will be. If the votes are depending on Texas, I mean, <laughs> it's Texas. Hey, Patrick, what am I now? Uh, stupid. I think my mom's working on her concession speech. You fought hard and it isn't over yet. Okay, it's, it's, it's been a very corny movie in general. Since their love has won, I am pretty sure that his mom will win too. Oh, Texas. <gasps> Uma Thurman that we trust. Do you still have my key on you? We won. Yeah, you did. Oh, I like that. I'm not just saying that because of the alcohol in my system. No, I feel like even if I was sober, I would have thought this movie was so cute. I remember when I watched Love, Simon and I was like, oh yeah, like this movie is okay. Like it's very basic and everything. And a lot of people commented like, oh, but I like Love, Simon because LGBTQ people deserve a movie that's also like basic and boring. I completely understood. Like, yeah, not all LGBTQ movies should be, you know, complex plot driven stories. Y'all deserve movies that can be basic and corny as well. This movie <laughs> is one of those movies. Like it was very corny, it was very cliche. I could see <laughs> a lot of what was gonna happen throughout the whole plot, but I think it was still very enjoyable. I feel like it goes into that category of like, oh, this is like a cheesy movie for the gays, you know? I feel like both of the actors had great chemistry with one another and they both had terrific performances, especially the actor who played Henry. It's crazy that I watched him play the prince in that Camilla Cabello uh, Cinderella story. He went from that to Purple Hearts to this. That's, that is a diverse filmography. I don't know. I, I I enjoyed both of these actors in this movie. It had me blushing in some moments. I feel like so many LGBTQ movies have this stereotype of being tragic at the end. For some reason, so many of those movies are like, oh, but then the characters don't end up together. Or like someone dies or blah, 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 blah. You know, it's nice having a movie where you see the characters end up together. Obviously, I didn't read the book. My friend did. And she said that she wasn't sure how she felt about the movie because she loved the book so much. She actually messaged me a couple days ago saying that she rewatched the movie with an open mind and she enjoyed it a lot more. What are your thoughts about this movie? If you read the book, do you like this movie? I totally understand when you read a book and then the movie adaptation is like so completely different than, you know, what happened in the book and being upset about it. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to greenlight a sequel, but the way that this movie ended, I don't know. I'm very content with how it ended but yeah i this was fun you know i decided to do this very last minute i was not planning on drinking but then i was thinking about it when i was doing my makeup and i was like you know what this could be fun if you enjoyed the video please give me a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you want and i'll see you for the next video